That's the end for Terra Luna Classic. Government is about to cancel Terraform Labs, and we have no chance for recover. Let me explain. Disclaimer, subscribe to my Telegram channel. There, I post shocking crypto news daily. Link in the description. In May 2022, a crisis at Terraform Labs, involving their token Luna and the Terra USD stablecoin, caused a 99% drop in Luna's value. This event had a major impact on the cryptocurrency market, leading to over $60 billion in investor losses. The shockwaves went beyond the crypto community, leading to legal actions in countries like South Korea and the United States. In February, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission sued Terraform Labs and co-founder Do Kwon, accusing them of conducting unregistered transactions and securities offerings. In response to the SEC's legal pressure, Terraform Labs and Do Kwon have taken a proactive approach by seeking a summary judgment. If approved, this judgment could expedite the case's resolution, potentially avoiding a lengthy trial. The goal of this strategy is to contest the SEC's allegations and conclude the legal proceedings swiftly. Terraform Labs and Quan's legal team are strongly disputing the SEC's allegations. They contend that, despite a two-year investigation, the SEC has not presented substantial evidence of wrongdoing. One of the main allegations involves the transfer of 10,000 Bitcoin into Swiss bank accounts for personal profit, which the defense rejects as unsupported. After two years of investigation, numerous depositions, and the exchange of millions of pages of documents and data, the SEC is no closer to proving that the defendants did anything wrong. Terraform Labs and Quan are pursuing a summary judgment to speed up the case. However, it's important to note that Judge Jed Rakoff, who presides over the case in the Southern District of New York, had previously rejected their request to dismiss the case. This means the legal dispute will continue, with both sides standing their ground. In a separate legal battle, the legal representatives of Terraform Labs co-founder Daniel Shin are strongly defending his innocence in connection to the Terra USD collapse. Shin, who is facing multiple charges, including fraud, argues that his separation from Quan in 2020 absolves him of any responsibility for the ecosystem's decline. As the legal fights intensify, the aftermath of the Terra USD collapse continues to impact the cryptocurrency world, influencing the UST stablecoin's value and prompting larger concerns about crypto industry regulation. The results of these legal cases could have a major impact on the entire cryptocurrency sector. But what impact? What do you think about this? Will this matter be resolved in Terra's favor or will it crash? Leave your opinion in the comments section. If you believe Terra is finished, prepare to be surprised. I have something to tell you. Terraform Labs' new CEO, Chris Amani, shared exciting news for the Cosmos community. They plan to support infrastructure for all Cosmos chains with a cost-effective foundation business model. As a result, prices of tokens in the Cosmos ecosystem have surged. Terra Luna Classic community members also encouraged LUNC developers to seize the opportunity and reduce community infrastructure expenses. Terraform Labs CEO Chris Amani in a Terraform Labs Telegram group revealed one of the business models of Foundation to run infrastructure for teams that don't want to deal with this or don't have the team to do it. He added that it's free for all applications that launch on Terra, but Terraform Labs can also run infrastructure for entire chains on Cosmos. The model we have in mind is that they pay for it by implementing alliance and directing a negotiated amount of inflation to Luna. The offer is applicable to all chains in Cosmos, including chains that end in the word classic, popular Terra. Luna Classic member Mr. Diamond Hands One shared the bullish news with the community, sparking excitement in the community. These are not empty hopes for growth. Member has never been more confident about Terra Luna Classic Pump. That could be the best time to invest into Lunchy, but that's not the end. During a Bitcoin bull run, Increased market enthusiasm and investment interest in cryptocurrencies can spill over to Terra Luna Classic, boosting its demand and value as investors seek alternative assets. Recent Bitcoin market movements show a lot of buyers, which could mean prices will go up. But because the price went up quickly in a short time and is getting close to a tough price level, there might be a small dip in the market soon. Looking at the daily chart, Bitcoin has been going up steadily since the beginning of 2023. 
it's following a pattern where it keeps reaching higher prices and higher low points. This pattern shows that buyers are in control and the price is getting close to an important level of around $35,000. The RSI indicator also agrees with this and suggests there's a lot of buying happening. If the buyers can keep the price above this important level, it might lead to a positive trend for the medium term, targeting even higher prices. However, because the price went up quickly, there's a good chance it might slow down and go down a bit for a while. On the 4-hour chart, Bitcoin has gone above its previous high of about $31,800 and is going up strongly. It reached a new high of around $35,000, which shows a lot of people want to buy it. But now, it's stuck at $35,000 because there are many people selling at that price. This has caused the price to slow down and go down a bit. If it keeps going down, it might find support at around $30,900 or $31,800. If more people want to buy Bitcoin than there are people selling it at $35,000, the price could go up a lot. But we should keep an eye on it because it could get more volatile in the next few days. Bitcoin's recent moves suggest it's going up, but be cautious because it can also go down fast. The chart below shows the short-term holder spent output profit ratio, which tells us if people who recently got Bitcoin are making money or not. When this ratio went up, it means short-term investors are selling because the price went up and they want to make money or limit their losses. If Bitcoin goes above $35,000, it might mean more people want to buy it and the price could go up a lot. If Bitcoin continues its upward trend, this could positively impact Terra Luna Classic's price for several reasons. Firstly, Bitcoin often acts as an indicator for the broader cryptocurrency market. A strong Bitcoin performance attracts attention from investors and institutions, which often spills over into other cryptocurrencies, including Terra Luna Classic. Investors, seeking profit potential, might diversify their portfolios by investing in assets like Lunsi, increasing its demand and price. Secondly, during a Bitcoin bull run, the overall sentiment in the cryptocurrency market tends to be optimistic, encouraging risk-taking. This may lead investors to explore alternative assets like Terra Luna Classic in search of substantial returns. In summary, a rising Bitcoin can boost Terra Luna Classic by attracting attention, fostering positive sentiment, and increasing liquidity. These factors, combined with investors' pursuit of diversification and returns, can contribute to Leonsi's price increase. However, remember that the cryptocurrency market is volatile, so cautious investing is essential. But remember that cryptocurrency investments are inherently risky. It is crucial for investors to conduct their own research and consider the volatility of the market. This information is for general purposes and is not financial advice. Consult a financial advisor or conduct thorough research before investing. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.